So when was the last time you updated your computer's BIOS? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly the steps you need to take to update your BIOS. So why is your BIOS important? First and foremost, BIOS stands for Basic Input and Output System. This is just the firmware of your motherboard. As you know, your motherboard, everything is connected to the motherboard. So if you have an updated BIOS, there's a higher chance that your system will be stable. The disadvantages of not having a BIOS that is up to date is that let's say you uh, you plug in a GPU that was released last year and you last updated your BIOS maybe in 2023. What happens is that you start getting issues of maybe the computer crashing because it's not really working well with the hardware. Basically, that's it. Now, to update the BIOS, you need a few things. You need a USB uh, flash drive. You also need uh, access to the internet to be able to download the BIOS update itself. And constant electricity. You don't need your power to go when you are in the middle of updating your BIOS. That will not be good for you and for me, right? So let's go to the computer and uh, finish updating the BIOS. All right, so the first thing that we need, obviously, is to find out the name of our motherboard and the BIOS version currently running on the motherboard. To do that, you can simply look at the box if you purchase the motherboard yourself. If you don't have the box, you can come to the computer here and search for system information. Just click on that and uh, this will pop up. Now you can see here where it says baseboard product. This is the name of our motherboard. In my case, it's the MAG B660M Motor Max Wi-Fi DDR4, right? And uh, the current BIOS version, if you come here, where it says BIOS version, current BIOS version is 1DO. And uh, the current date is uh, the 30th of September, 2024. So this was when I last updated uh, the, the BIOS. Now, when we go to the MSI website, we should be able to see the latest BIOS version and if there's a difference between these two uh, it is uh, it is important for you to download the latest one obviously so let's do that I'm just going to open a browser okay so I'm just gonna search for B660M Motor Max Wi-Fi DDR4 drivers right drivers that's the most important as you can see it's already highlighted since I, I visit this page so when you click that we're taken to this page here this is the support page where we should be able to see all the drivers and downloads in our case we want the bios when you come here so there are drivers you can check drivers here you can download even the latest drivers if you don't have them right but i'm just going to come under bios as you can see this top one is um uh, 797v 1f1 it's in beta right so this one i'm not going to download it since it's not the full version but when we look here there's one from the 28th of uh, April 2025 this v1e right so that's probably the latest BIOS in my case so let me just click download so it's downloading so let me just open that up right uh, now as you can see there's WinRA on this machine but I don't want to open with WinRA right I want to extract this with the um, the default this one here that's written extract all that comes with windows so let me just click extract i should get a folder there i want to double click on that folder now make sure that you have a usb flash drive plugged in at this stage i'm just going to click this so this one right here is our bios uh update now i'm just going to right click this and go to where it says uh, uh show more and then here where it says send to i'm just going to click send to and i'm going to send it to the drive now make sure that your USB drive, right, has been formatted to just avoid problems, right? So um, I have to, let me just check if it's already in, in uh, the, as you can see, it's already in the flash drive. The next thing that I'm going to do is just eject this. Now um, I just, I'm going to restart this machine and um, we're going to update the BIOS. So let me just eject this for now. All right, so now we need to restart this machine uh, and restart into the BIOS. So to do that, you will be clicking on the delete button. So let's just come here and press uh, restart. Now, whilst that's taking place, I'm just going to be tapping on the delete button, right? We should enter into BIOS. All right, 
see now we are into the bios uh this is what we have here so we want to come you see here under m flash now in the bios obviously you'll be using the uh keyboard right now i want to come here where it says m flash right i'm just uh going to insert my uh, usb stick back into the uh computer okay so my usb stick is there i'm just going to press enter and you see what it says here system will auto boot and enter into flash mode do you want to do that i want to do that so i'll press enter again now the system should reboot once again so let's just wait for it to to reboot as you can see so now it's entering into flash mode right now uh obviously i need to navigate to my usb stick which is this usb disk here so let me just press enter and as you can see if i come here you see the software version uh, where it says uh, e70 something 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 right that's the one so i'm just gonna press enter right and it's saying are you sure you want to select this file i want to say yes so bios is updating now here's the key make sure that the electricity does not uh go whilst you're doing this process otherwise you'll cause damage to your machine right so yeah so the bios is updating at this stage so just give it a little bit of time so the bios is about to uh, finish updating and the machine will restart once again now if you go to uh, our system information we should be able to see that the BIOS is updated. Even the date would have updated as well. So let's just wait for it to restart. The BIOS is updated successfully. Now that we've updated the BIOS successfully, we need to confirm it's properly updated. So we need to come under system information. If you come here, you can see under the BIOS version, you can see that the version has updated. And even the date is now saying the 17th of april 2025 which is the day this bios was released right now even if you check on the version it's now 1.e0 right so the bios is updated successfully so that's it that is how you update your bios right now updating your bios is actually very important it will make your machine run a bit more stable and faster as well now i'll be working on a few videos i think in the upcoming episodes where i'll be showing you ways of making your pc run faster if that's something that you're interested in leave a comment down below if you found this video useful give it a thumbs up otherwise i will see you in the next video